interesting to see him. Here's Dean Lander in, and he scores! It's nine seconds in, and he has the first goal of the game in back-to-back. -back. Nine seconds in! Hello everyone and welcome back to Jab NHL Vlogs and I have a very special video for you guys today. Yeah, this is a very special video today guys and this is a big accomplishment, big milestone for me in my YouTube career and on this YouTube channel as well guys and I'm going to get into it right now. So, one year ago today on March 3rd, 2022, I posted my very first video on this YouTube channel at the time the name was Jab NHL and MLB Vlogs which means I've hit one year on this YouTube channel. Jab NHL and MLE Vlogs or NHL Vlogs currently right now. So thank you very much all you guys. I appreciate it for all the support that you guys have given me throughout the last 365 days for last year. March 3rd, 2022 to now March 3rd, 2023. Thank you to every single one of you guys. I appreciate it. And yeah, I can't believe it's already been a year guys. I literally felt like I started this channel yesterday. But a lot has changed in the last year. And also I'm wearing the exact same jersey I was wearing Tavares as you guys can see. 91. So I am wearing literally the exact same jersey and also the same Blue Jays hats. And yeah, so both items of clothing for this video today. So I almost recreated my first video today. And yeah, didn't do very good in that video as well. It wasn't really my greatest video, but always when you do something for the first time, it's not going to be great. You got to evolve. I evolved quite a bit on this channel. So yeah, guys, just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all you guys for the great support. Well, the last year for me on this YouTube channel would not be sitting here making this video right now if it wasn't for you guys supporting me. Not the last year, so thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. But anyways, guys, before I get more in depth, once again, well, before I get more in depth into this video, watch you guys, so please like, subscribe, channel if you're new. Hit notifications, leave your comments down below if you guys have any thoughts and feelings in general on this video. Just any thoughts, feelings you guys have. You want to congratulate me down in the comments. I appreciate it, guys. Feel free to leave any thoughts or feelings that you guys have in the comment section below. Let's hear you guys on there. And yeah, so let's get into this video. So, you know, a lot of things have happened in the last year. You know, went to a lot of Leaf games. Uh, went to like seven Blue Jays games, three Marlins games, one Steelheads game. And yeah, I just want to say thanks to all Leafs fans, Blue Jays fans, Marlins fans, and Steelheads fans for all the support. For, yeah, for you guys, you know, that are fans of those teams, the teams I watch. Just thanks to all you guys that are fans of any of these teams, hockey, baseball. Thanks to all you guys, I really appreciate it, and yeah, just thanks for all you guys, you know. Again, if it wasn't, if it wasn't for you guys supporting me, leaving a like, subscribing, and you know, doing all that good stuff in my videos, I wouldn't be here making this video right now for you guys. But, thank you very much guys, I appreciate it, and yeah. And yeah, oh, and yeah, so I want to talk about a few things in this video. First of all, I want to talk about also, yeah, I want to talk about the acquisitions from Jays and Leafs, obviously it changes to the teams. Throughout the last year and, you know, going into 2023 MLB season for the Jays as well. And also nothing for the Blue Jays and MLB. I'm going to be changing my channel name to Jab NHL and MLB Vlogs starting on April 1st, 2023. So, yeah, Saturday, April 1st, 2023, I will be changing my name to Jab NHL and MLB Vlogs again. So, you guys will be seeing that again. Starting in April, my MLB name will be back in the channel name because the Blue Jays home opener is the uh, April 11th versus the Detroit Tigers. And yeah, I'm really excited about that game. The, I, I think the Leafs are playing that night, though, sadly. I probably will be watching that game as well, but well, it's not really sadly, but whatever. I mean, we'll see. I pro I'll probably watch both teams that night for sure. And yeah, guys, and also, yeah, so that's the first thing. Also, the acquisitions. Also, the Leafs made a couple more trades. We got Luke Shen. Former Leaf coming back, so that's really nice to see him coming back to the Leafs, so that's awesome, and yeah, so that's really awesome. Luke Shen coming back, also, yeah, we traded uh, Angvo to the Islanders, and that's not good because the Islander fans are not good to the Leafs, so that's pretty sad to see him go. I'm going to miss Angvo a lot. He was a great player. Sandin as well, going to the Washington Capitals in exchange for Eric Gustafson, another great defenseman, so again, another defenseman, so defenseman for a defenseman. And getting a first round draft pick as yeah, the first round draft pick as well for 2023. So that's a pretty good pick. Uh, pick up there for the Leafs. Too bad Sandin has to go to. They were saying Sandin was maybe gonna get traded and he got traded. So you know, we're picking up Gustafson and Shen now, so that's pretty good. Also, we picked up Jake McCabe and Sam Lafferty from the Chicago Blackhawks. And yeah, if you guys don't know, especially for Sam Lafferty, I saw him score against the Leafs when I went to the game versus the Blackhawks. He was with the Blackhawks, and now he's with the Leafs. And I couldn't believe it when it happened. I was like, what? We got Sam Lafferty? I was so surprised that we got him, especially after I see him score against the Leafs as well. So, 
hey, that's pretty cool. And also Jake McKay, pretty good defenseman. I don't know. He wasn't really great with Chicago. I was a little bit, I'm a little bit concerned about him. I mean, we'll have to see what happens, but hopefully, I mean, he can fight those. That's really good. So he's a really physical player. Definitely, yeah, definitely really physical. Gets into a lot of fights. So that's pretty good for Leafs, but yeah. You know, adding four new guys to the roster, along with O'Reilly and Achari, and a couple more new guys. That was probably the biggest trade that we made. O'Reilly and Achari, I really like that one a lot, that trade. But yeah, we had to give up a few of our guys, but it is what it is. That's what happens when it comes to trade deadline. You're going to get some guys, you're going to lose some guys. That's just how it goes, but you know, yeah, people come out, people go, people come in. It's just how it works, but... Yeah, it's trade deadline for you. It's actually actually today, and when uh, March third, it's actually March third when I'm posting this video. So that's pretty interesting there as well. March third, trade deadline. So yeah, pretty much the last day of the trade deadline. So yeah, so you know this is gonna be ending soon, and yeah, pretty much gonna be ending. So at least this is almost done. Also, Blue Jays, you know, can't wait to see their new players for 2023. You know, Chris Bassett, uh, Kevin Kiermaier, and you know Dalton Varsho as well. I can't wait to see them play. For the Blue Jays, sorry, next month at home at the Rogers Center. They're actually doing spring training right now, the Blue Jays as well. So that's pretty awesome. You know, it's going to be great once, you know, they come to Rogers Center in Toronto. Can't wait for a new renovation as well. I'm really pumped to see those in person. Can't wait to see how they look in person as well. I think they're going to look very nice. I think they're going to look very nice. Seen a lot of videos, they look pretty nice. So I think it's going to be really great for the 2023 MLB season as well. And yeah, guys, another thing I want to talk about my intro. Also, this will be a shout out to one of my very loyal uh, supporters as well my channel very loyal person that actually recommended me to change my intro again not saying that's a bad thing because it's actually a good idea so let me explain guys so of course for most of my channel i had that same blue intro for mlb and nhl then eventually i thought to myself one day i'm like you know what why not change the intro so i got Neilander from the game i went to versus the ottawa Sunners just because 308 is a really good section it's not really nice and then after, you know, Nylander game, you have a Chicago Blackhawks where he scored nine seconds in. Uh, he recommended me to actually change it again, like to Nylander five se nine seconds in. So I did that. And that will be the intro for the rest of the season for sure, guys. I will not be making any more changes. Sorry for the no, not really telling you guys anything about the new intro. So I apologize, guys, for that. But anyways, hope you guys forgive me. But anyways, so that's another thing that happened. And yeah. You know, it's great. And, you know, yeah, and really good intro. And, yeah, I'm going to shout him out right now. So, shout out once again to Mr. Blue Jay Noah. Again. I said almost like a sporting announcer there, too. And, Mr. Blue Jay Noah, thank you very much for the great support you've given me since July. He hasn't been here for the entire year. But, you know, it's okay. I think this really all started between us uh, when we both went to the Jays game versus the Tampa Bay Rays on March 2nd. Or, not March. Whoops. Sorry, guys. July 2nd. 2022 and yeah so i'm sorry that was definitely not march sorry guys yeah july 2nd 2022 it was the uh vlad uh, but yeah, vlad and dad bobblehead day that was pretty nice to see the first pitch too bad i couldn't get one it was basically impossible to get everyone wanted it i showed up a little bit too late as well so it's sad but it is what it is right but you know they only give it to the first fifteen thousand. so what are you gonna do what you know nothing you can really do but you know that's just how it goes sometimes but yeah you know, some things are not going to go your way in life, and I just got to accept that those are probably really expensive bobbleheads, and can't blame everyone for getting them. But, you know, not a great game, 6-2 loss, obviously, but, you know, it's not a great time, and that's basically when I started connecting with Mr. Blue Jay Noah. Great support of mine. If you guys like Blue Jays content, baseball content in general, he's actually going to be doing, like, sort of vlogs, but he's doing series, or he's calling them series. For me, I think it would be technically a vlog as well, but whatever you want to call him, Mr. Blue Jay Noah. Hopefully your storage works out as well. He has pretty hard times with his storage as well. I feel bad for you for that, Mr. Blue Jay Noah. But yeah, if you guys like Blue Jay's content or SMG4 content, he does reactions on their on his videos as well. Really funny content. I laugh so hard at them. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I literally am just like, like I just always cry with laughter. It's just so funny. And yeah, also go subscribe to SMG4 themselves as well. They deserve the support as well. So go subscribe to SMG4 as well. And I'm going to actually leave both links for those channels in the link in the description box below. So Mr. Blue Jay Noah and SMG4. And especially thanks to Mr. Blue Jay Noah for all the support since July 2022. Thanks, uh, Mr. Blue Jay Noah. But anyways, um, yeah. So 
Uh, yeah, so back to video, and yeah, you know, it's gonna be really exciting to see a Blue Jays play. I can't wait for that as well, and yeah. No, just because this is a special video, I'm actually gonna be talking about my very first vlog as well, as Leafs versus the Canucks. Uh, Soup, Jack Campbell was in net for Leafs. He obviously plays for the Edmonton Oilers now, signed a, I think, a four-year deal or a five-year deal in Edmonton, which is sad, but NHL's business, you know, same with MLB, NBA, all the sports, players go into free agency if they want to make more money, they want to go to another team, they're just not happy where they are, sometimes they request trades, there's trades, all that stuff during the offseason, especially free agency during the offseason is huge because players can just sign wherever they want, all their unrestricted free agents, he was a UFA, and he went to the Edmonton Oilers, and it is what it is. So it's too bad that Campbell had to go, but that's just what happens, you know, in the NHL world and baseball as well. It's just players are going to go to different places. Just it's a business, and we just got accepted. But, you know, it's good that Bo Bichette signed a three year extension, though. I was getting a little bit worried about him, but yeah. You know, and those seats weren't great as well. It was probably my worst vlog I did on the channel as well. And also Nate, uh, that car spot Canada Ultra Game Nate helped me with the music as well. So shout out to him as well. You guys seen him in a couple of the vlogs as well. I appreciate his support as well. So thank you, Nate. Go subscribe to his channel as well. Leave his channel links in the description as well. And yes, everybody else, just thanks all you guys. If you're a Jays fan, Leafs fan, and you know Marley's fan, Steelers fan, if you're watching my videos, thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it for all the support. And hoping this next year will be great as well. You know, next 365 days will be just as good, if not better. Hopefully, eventually, also, I can go south of the border. Maybe sometime, maybe in the next year, would be nice if I can get to the States. Uh, I'm hoping I can do that soon for you guys. Maybe go to some NHL games on the road. Maybe some MLB as well. Hey, if you guys want to see it, definitely let me know. I will definitely do it for other cities as well. That's why I call it NHL, not Toronto Vlogs. It's just in case if I go somewhere else. So it's fair to make it NHL and MLB just in case if I end up going to any other cities as well. So it's just, that's why I do it like that as well, if you guys didn't know. And also, I forgot to ask this, but Mr. Blue Jay Noah, I have a question for you, actually. This is a little bit of a fun question. You're probably watching this in premium right now, so I might as well just ask it like this. So the question is, uh, so for the Leafs, I obviously don't have the letter on my jersey, but John Tavares is the captain of the team, so yeah, I don't have the C. And there's also alternate captains, Morgan Riley, Austin Matthews, uh, uh, Mitch Marner. And I don't know about Nylander. I actually don't know if Nylander's alternate. I think he might be. Is Nylander alternate captain? I think he is. If he's not, then that's disappointing. I, I, I watch every game, and I should know this. I actually don't know if Nylander is. So, uh, yeah, I know for sure Marner, Matthews, Riley, and Tavares is the captain. I know that for sure. So, Mr. Blue Jay, no, the question I have for you is, who would you name the captain of the Toronto Blue Jays? So uh, anybody, I'm not really going to, actually, we're not going to count pitchers. So any position players, so any position players, so like first base, you know, yeah, first base, second base, third base, because basically like pitchers are almost like goalies, backup catchers, I guess it depends, it depends, that one, I guess that one depends, but yeah, so I like for any of the basemen or the fielders, who would you pick? As your captain and pick three alternate captains. For me, the captain of the Blue Jays, I would say maybe George Springer. Because he has the most experience as a veteran in the MLB. So I would definitely give him the captain for sure. He's a great veteran presence for all the younger players on the team. So I would probably give it to George Springer. And the alternate captains for sure, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Because he's almost like uh, Austin Matthews for baseball. Because they both have like hair. They both have pretty good hair. So... Yeah, definitely I got to give Vlad the uh, alternate captain. Also, Bo Bichette as well, really good player. I got to give him an alternate captain as well. And the third one, a bit debatable. Uh, Mr. No Mr. Blue Jay Noah may or may not agree with me with these. For me, I'm going to say maybe Matt Chapman could get the other alternate captain because, you know, he's not a great player. got a gold glove as well. Maybe for an all, I don't know about Alejandro Kirk. He's a little bit younger. I don't know about him, but I was actually a little bit worried about him leaving as well, but... Yeah, Mr. Blue Jay Noah, let me know. It's just a little bit of a fun question. Let me know in the chat. But anyways, so yeah, guys. You know, first vlog, of course, wasn't great. You know, I was just getting started on the channel. But hey, you know, we all evolve over time. We always get better. We always learn from our six. And I definitely did that. Vlogs have just been getting better since. So thanks, guys, for all the support again. And I'll also be making a new Blue Jays intro as well once baseball starts. So stay tuned for that. You guys are going to want to see that as well. But yeah, guys, I appreciate the support you guys have given me throughout the last year. And, yeah, I just can't thank you guys enough. And you guys are the best. Seriously, Toronto fans are seriously the best in any sports league. So, yeah, definitely got to say thanks to Leafs fans, Jays fans, Marlies fans, Steelheads fans. 
for our support, guys. And yeah, just I appreciate it a lot. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it, guys. Have a great day, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Or yeah, yeah, so see you guys on the next video. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy this, uh, sorry guys, I said that wrong. So yeah, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't watch guys, then leave a like on this video, scratch out for new. In all cases, leave a comment down below if you guys have any thoughts on uh, yeah, if you have any thoughts on yeah, on this video in general. Yeah, just any thoughts or feelings you guys have. Uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment section below with you guys on there. Sorry guys, I almost said about I almost said it like I just did like a vlog or something like that. Like, you know, any thoughts or feelings on the game. I almost said it like that, so I'm sorry guys. But yeah, so yeah, if you guys have any thoughts on this video in general, you know, just if you guys want to congratulate me, if there's anything you guys want to say, feel free to leave a comment section below. Let's see you guys down there. And yeah, so so I say thanks again to Mr. Blue J Noah, Nate. Yeah, so go subscribe to their channels and go subscribe to SMG4 as well. Great content, very funny content. And yeah, guys, you know, just can't, say, can't wait to see the uh, renovations for Rogers Center. Just hoping the Leafs get to the playoffs, maybe win the Stanley Cup, hoping the Jays win the World Series. Hoping our new guys on the Leafs do well as well. You know, Lafferty, McCabe, and also uh, Luke Shen and um, Gustafson. Hoping they all do good for the Leafs. Hoping they play really well for the blue and white and just hoping they have... Great, you know, great, you know, great part of their careers with the Leafs as well. Sorry, guys, for all the errors. But, yeah, guys, just hoping they do great for the Leafs. Hoping the new guys for the Jays do well as well. You know, just hoping everything goes well for the rest of the season, you know, for the Leafs. And hoping the Jays have a great 2023 season. And I'll definitely let you guys know about more games. But, anyways, guys, uh, that's pretty much going to do it, guys. Yeah, have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. It'll be, you know, probably be some footage either from the Raptors games or it will be the post-game reaction from the Marlies game. I went to versus the comments, so yeah, stay tuned for any content there as well. And yeah, guys, so I appreciate all the support, guys, one more time. And also, one more thing, one last thing to mention is, if I hit 100 subscribers, so I need 29 more subs, because I have 71 right now, so thanks for 71 subs as well, guys, I appreciate it. Uh, I will be doing a towel collection for the NHL, so yeah, NHL towel collection. I don't have any Blue Jays ones, sadly, so it'll mainly just be NHL, but 100 subscribers, doesn't matter what time of year, I will do it regardless of what time of year it is, so... Yeah, guys, so I just need you guys to hit the subscribe button, and I will do it for you guys. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to do it, guys. Thanks for one year on YouTube. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you guys next time. So, go, let's go! Let's go, Blue Jays! Let's go, Marlies! And let's go, Steelheads! Or go, Steel, go! And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out!